Assalamualaikum. Hi guys. Today we proceed to ratio in Malay nisbah. First look at the introduction of ratio. So the ratio of A to B is given by the fraction notation. So this one is a fraction notation where A is a numerator and B is a denominator. Then this one A to B also known by colon notation. So colon notation like this. So, different notation but represents ratio. First, fraction notation. Second, colon notation. Okay, then, when two pairs of numbers have the same ratio, so that one is proportional. Let's say, if two ratios are equal, 3 to 6 and 2 to 4. So, the equation become like this. 3 to 6 equal to 2 to 4 is a proportion so we can check by using cross product let's say here 3 over 6 equal 2 over 4 so using cross product 3 times 4 equal to 12 then 2 times 6 12 so this one equal 12 12 therefore this one is a proportional okay so for this topic, we will look at two different cases, which is ratio in two quantities and also ratio in three quantities. First case, ratio in two quantities. Let's try. If the ratio of men to women in the room is 2 to 5 and there are 90 men, how many women are there? So how to solve this example? We can construct table like this. First information, man to women. That's why here, man, women. Next information, man and then to portion. Meanwhile, women, five. Five. How many men? Ninety men. How many women? Unknown. So, using this information or table, we can use cross product. So here, based on this information, 2 over 5 from here. Then, second information, 90 over x. Cross product, 2x equal to 450, therefore x equal to 2 to 5. So the total women in the room equal to 2 to 5. Okay, next. Let's try different technique to solve same example. You can use this technique by using one part of man. So, how to calculate one part of man based on this information for man. So, 90 divided by 2 equal to 45. One part equal to 45. Therefore, how many women are there? We can solve this question by 5 times 45. So, 5. 5 based on this one. Therefore, here 5. 45 here based on one part. Therefore, at the end, the total women in the room using Second technique, also equal to 2 to 5. Same answer, but different technique. Okay, let's try another example. If a person is paid RM30 for 2 hours, so this one, RM30, 2 hours work. How many hours would that person need to earn RM900? So, using this example, we can construct table. So, here, RM30, 2 hours. RM900, X. So, X is the unknown. So, how to find the unknown? Using cross product. So, 30X equal to 1800. So, calculate X. X equal to 60 hours. Therefore, that person need 
to earn RM900 by working 60 hours. Okay, next example. If a map is drawn to a scale of 3 cm representing 27 km, how far apart are two cities that separated by 15 cm on the map? So this one, we use different technique which is we can calculate one part of scale. So how to calculate one part of scale? Based on this information, 27 divided by 3. So one part of scale equal to 9 km. Therefore, for 15 cm, 15 times 9 equal to 135 km. Okay, now let's try quick chat questions. Three questions. At the end, you may check the answers. Okay, now, this one, second case, which is ratio in three quantities. A pole is painted blue, red, and green in the ratio of 2 to 5 to 3. If the red painted section is 10 meter long, what is the total length of the pole? So this one, blue, red, green, and then total. So blue, 2, red, 5, and then green, 3. Given the information is only for red, which is 10 meter long. So 10 meter, 5. Then we can calculate one part of red, which is 10 divided by 5. 2 meter. Therefore, total length 10 times 2 equal to 20 meter. So, how this one? 10. So, 10 here based on 2 plus 5 plus 3 equal to 10. Because the aim of the question is what is the total length of the pole? So, this one based on 10. Therefore, total length of the pole equal to 20 meter. Okay, example 5. Several books are placed in bookshelf A, B, and C. The ratio of the books in A to the books in B to the books in C is 2, 3, 5. What is the total number of books in bookshelf B and C if the bookshelf A contains 400 books. So, using this information A, B, C, 400 based on bookshelf A. So, this one, bookshelf A. So, you need to calculate total number of books in bookshelf B and C. So, first, calculate one part of bookshelf A which is 400 divided by 2, 200. So, 200, one part of bookshelf A. Therefore, you can calculate for bookshelf B and bookshelf C, which is 600 for B and 1000 for C. So, this one based on this value, 3, 3, and then 5, 5 times 200. So, 200 based on one part of A. Therefore, total number of books in both bookshelf 600 plus 1000 equal to 1600. Okay, let's try another example for a ratio in three quantities case. The weight of three baggage belong to Azam, Hena, and Mira are in the ratio 3 are 7 respectively. If Mira's baggage weight is 35 kg and Hena's baggage weight is 20 kg, fine. First question, the value of R. So, R. We need to find the value of R. So, based on the information given, construct the table. So, 3 then R7 based on this information. 
for Azam, Hana, and Mira. Next information for Hana, 20 kg. And then for Mira, 35 kg. So, using this information, we can calculate one part of Mira, which is 35 divided by 7 equal to 5. Okay, next. So, based on this information, 5. Calculate R. So, R, 20 divided by 5 equal to 4. So, we can also use different technique, which is cross product, like this. R divided by 20 equal to 7 over 35. So, 35 R equal to 140. R equal to 4. Same answer. 4, 4. So, which one you want to use? One part or based on cross product at the end for sure same answer okay now proceed to second question of example six find the total weight of the baggage so this one based on total so three plus r so r here equal to four then plus seven so three plus four plus seven here times 5 so 5 based on one part therefore the total weight of the baggage equal to 70 kg ok now let's try another quick chart 3 questions then check the answers ok guys that's all for topic 1 fundamental Concepts of Mathematics Assalamualaikum and da